Hey everyone, it's Dustin. Welcome to McFlippinship. I'm really excited that you're here today. I'm going to be heading to Play It Again Sports. I got three big hockey bags full of equipment that I've been saving up since the spring. I'm going to go see how much I can get for all this stuff. Let's go check it out. Now, I've gotten pretty much everything here from the Goodwill bins, starting from probably the spring when they stopped really taking the really good hockey equipment anyway. Just got so many uh, pairs of skates. I got some skis here. Um, I've got some uh, ski boots here that I got from uh, Romeo at the Goodwill Bins. Also got some uh, snowboarding helmets. Just all of these things that they weren't taking uh, during the springtime. So at that time I was bringing in, of course, uh, baseball equipment. And I got a couple of pair of skates here that are still in the box. Some van snowboarding boots here. Spider gel broom ball shoes. Now in this bag here, there's some things that they may not take. Um, they might not want these batting helmets anymore. I gave them a call and asked them what they were taking. They also said that they weren't taking any sort of like roller blades like this, or like the soft boot, just like recreational skates. They were only taking the hockey style boots, which I always saw myself. So. Um, I just I can bring those in. They said the only baseball equipment that they were really taking right now would be adult sized baseball gloves. So I'll bring this in. This isn't in the greatest shape. Uh, here's some more. I'll, I'll just bring this in. I might want that. Got some um, football uh, shoulder pads here. Some skate guards. All the stuff I found in the bins, including the bags, uh, which I hope they will take as well. There's another snowboarding helmet. So we'll bring this all in. I would say I paid basically around $2 an item. That's about my average cost right now, even a little bit less. So we'll see. I've also got quite a bit of inventory stored out here. Things that aren't going to get uh, ruined by any humidity or the ice cold winter. Like snow boots, snowboard boots. That's just a bowling bag. Sporting goods, things like that. Also, I'm um, going out today. So I've got these nice large bins here for storing sporting goods as well. There we go. And these cross-country ski boots here. This is a nice pickup here, 50 bucks. And going out, this is telling me also that Play It Again Sports is probably going to start taking these types of goods. Now this is just like shipping some shoes, except these aren't going to fit in the Priority Mail shoe box. So I use the number 7, which is also free at USPS.com. I also store my overflow of boxes, bubble wrap, bubble mailers, and all that. Running a little bit low here, so I just ordered a bunch from USPS.com. You get all these free boxes here for all of your Priority Mail stuff. So I'm waiting to fill these shelves up again, waiting for uh, Q4 to start here pretty soon. And a big shout out to Rob at the post office that day for helping me load up. Also out here, besides uh, storing some other sort of inventory like uh, skateboards and laundry baskets, things like that, I also keep the electronics that just weren't working. I get these usually in the bins for like a dollar, dollar fifty a piece, and sometimes they just don't work. So I'll just bring these to the electronics recycling center. And that's on the way to play it again, so I'm gonna take care of that today too. It's getting pretty full. I'm gonna make a lot of space today. All right, let's get this stuff loaded up. And just recently, my trusty and beloved Volkswagen Jetta had more engine repairs than it was worth. So it was time for me to start looking for a new vehicle. I looked around, couldn't really find anything. Then I found this great GMC train. My daughter loves it, I love it. And it's already helping me consolidate errands. I'm not sure if I could have fit all of this in my Jetta there. All right, so we're all through at the post office. I'm gonna head to the recycling center now. There's also a Goodwill right next to the Play It Again Sports, so we'll go see what we can find there. There's plenty of pond hockey being played in the winter here. It feels pretty good to get these into the hands of somebody who is going to recycle these further. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Oh, you got a load. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll 
little stuff that hasn't really, it's not working correctly, I guess. Okay. Partially, maybe. What do you guys do with all this? You... We just collect it and then it gets picked up once a week by recyclers. Okay. That uh, wow. throw it away and wow. do what they do. Okay. Yeah, yep. I get a lot of this, you know, and it just doesn't work, so I have to bring it here. You know, otherwise I'll sell it if it works. Yeah. So. I think yeah. you've been here many times before. I have. You refurbish stuff and sell it. I do, yeah. Yeah, so you got a little business. I do, yeah. That's cool. I really got to thank these guys for being so friendly and supportive and being willing to take my old electronics. Awesome. Well, I uh, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Dustin. I'm Brian. Brian. You wouldn't want to touch that. Ah, oh, no worries. <laughs> nice to meet you. Who knows what's on that? <laughs> no worries. Thanks again. Yeah, Take care. Thank you. All right, on the way to play it again here. Let's see what we can get for all this fall and winter sporting equipment. Oh, hey guys. How are you guys doing today? Uh, haven't been here in a while. I got one more beer. Okay, so we'll let these guys have a look and I'll have a look around the store here, check out what's in season. Keep an eye out for those higher end hockey gloves. You can also find me on Instagram at McFlippinChip. And as you can see, they definitely move to hockey skates instead of inlines. And they still got lots of baseball stuff out, it's just brand new stuff or really higher end good stuff. Looks like we got some lacrosse and football stuff. We gotta be careful in this section not to do some trades. So what I found here is a really great brand to look out for, Nakona. This is one of my listings that sold earlier in the year. And they wanted 40 bucks for this one, so I was gonna do some research. I couldn't find the exact model number. But as you can see here, there's a lot of sold listings and some of these can go for some really good money. Baseball and softball equipment, we just stopped taking it. And sure. then, like, we haven't started yet taking the like downhill skis and snowboard stuff. And okay. Also along with broomball boots, we just hold off until like November time, okay. when, like the snow gets here. But with everything we are taking, your total retail price came out to 400 total. Okay. So we're looking at 200 in in-store credit or 120 in cash would be a check. Okay, um, I'll, I'll do a check, that's fine. Are you guys interested in the um, bags at all? This bag? This one we're definitely interested in right here. This okay. warrior, yeah. yeah. Rolling backpack one. Yeah, we would take that one, but the duffel bags are just a lot of fun. Okay, just like you probably wouldn't want them at all, even in... Yeah, I mean, maybe, like, if we sell through a good amount, just we have so many bags right now. Yeah, okay, sure. On the bag, we'd retail it at 50, so then your total price was 450, so then you would just get 135 in cash instead of 120. Yeah, yeah, 15 bucks for that. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So as we take a look at the 15 items that sold here, I'm seeing a lot of skates, a couple hockey helmets, we got some football shoulder pads, and that softball mask actually sold as well. Thank you. Yeah, no Thanks, Max. I really appreciate it. Ever since I've been coming in here, he's been giving me fair prices. Take care, guys. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see you later. It's not too bad there. Got $135 for 15 items. That's $9 per item, 
And at $2 a buy cost, that's about $7 profit per item. And I've still got two bags left that I can bring back later. And there's a Home Depot right next to this Goodwill, so I'm going to stop here and grab some of the shipping supplies that I usually get here. Wait a minute. Is that a regular Goodwill? I haven't been in one of those ever. It just really hasn't been in my style. I haven't found anything good. Let's see if we can actually find something at a good price to flip here. So usually heading into a Goodwill, I'll take a left and look inside the glass cases, but not this time. I see some fresh bins, so I'm heading there first. This is going to be my best chance, probably, of getting a good score here. But you're looking at what was in there. But that's okay, there's plenty of store to look through. I'm sure I'll find something good. So these Microsoft ergonomic keyboards have an excellent sell-through rate, almost 100%. So I'll pick this up. Now these 3M Scotch pop-up tape strips are the best. I use these myself and they are really hard to come by. They can be really expensive to keep refilling. So pick them up when you see them. These are going to sell really well at Christmas time. Then I spot a Sony Dream Machine with a CD player. I've sold one of these before. The sell through rate isn't as good, but they do sell. Not too difficult to test and package up for shipping. I was going to pick up this Callaway cover, but it was really faded. Not in the greatest shape, and when they put a tag on it, it was $4, so I just left it behind. Here's a Craftsman battery charger. I usually like to check the model number on these battery chargers because they can be pretty easy to list and test and ship out. I think I can still get about a eight to ten dollar profit on this. Not too much work involved. So I think I'm gonna try my luck in the t-shirts here. I see this one, I think it's kind of cool anyway. It's probably going to take a while to sell, it's pretty specific. But I got all of these t-shirts here today guys for only $3.99. This is kind of cool. Wait, is that single stitch? Sure is. Oh, sweet. I'll take it. So this was another listing for $150. I thought, I'm going to put mine at 50 and after one day I'm seeing 15 views and 7 watches already. And to me, that means a sale's coming pretty quick. Now this one here I probably should have looked up. Again, these shirts were only $4 a piece. So there's a modern Star Wars shirt. There's another modern Star Wars shirt. Hey, wait. I love these AT Walkers. Probably one of my favorite Star Wars characters, if you can call it that. I'll be wearing that one. So I'm going to continue looking around the store. They got a lot of Halloween stuff out. See if there's anything that catches my eye that is for a good price. At the right price, I may have picked up these Halloween party lights here, but they were paper kind and not the plastic blow mold. I also wanted to check out all of the DVD box sets. Not much happening there. And at $3 a video game, it's going to have to have a great sell-through rate and be worth at least $12 to $15 for me to want to pick it up. Can we see what's coming up right here? Okay. Uh, we got all 
I'll be careful. I appreciate it. I can do that. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Not too bad. I actually found a few things. I'm actually kind of surprised. Forty-one dollars here. These Microsoft ergonomic keyboards usually go pretty quick. This might sit for a little bit, but should turn into 20, 25 bucks one day. This was worth picking up. These are awesome. A dream machine, I've sold one of those before. So for a quick stop at Goodwill, not too bad. I should be able to make a few bucks from this, but not as much as if I would have gotten all the stuff at the Goodwill bins where I may have paid 10 or $12. That by far, along with yard sales, has been my preferred way to source lately. Well, that about wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Hope you got a good idea on how easy it can be to make some profits, bring stuff in to play it against sports, and going to Goodwill for that matter. Congratulations on your latest success, and until next time, my hat's off to you.